What's up, everybody? This is Pixel from the Frag Dolls, and we're here at PAX East 2014. Welcome, welcome to the booth, welcome to the stream if you're just joining us online. I am here with two developers on Power Star Golf. We're going to be chatting about it, about the upcoming content. So please introduce your guys to the people. Hi, everyone. My name's Craig Lee, and I'm a design director at Microsoft Game Studios looking after Power Star Golf. And I'm Rakari Austin. I'm a community manager of Power Star Golf. Look at that, awesome. I barely have a voice. Oh my goodness. Oh no, Third where did it go? Third Third right? You just went partying for your birthday, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you guys going to be showing us today? So we've been here all week. Um, we're really happy to be here because we're unveiling a new course, Coyote Canyon, uh, live at PAX. So we've been here the last few days. We showed part threes That's on right. Friday. And we got to see some secrets. We got some secrets, secrets. yesterday. Yeah, all the um, so one of the cool things I wanted to tell everyone about Coyote Canyon is it's going to be free. Yes. That's a free 18-hole golf course to everybody who has bought the game already or buys the game in the future. So uh, this will be out soon. So let's check it out. So Ready what are we going to go? play today? We're going to play the back nine. So obviously we're going Coyote Canyon. Our Coyote Canyon. Let's DLC go to the back nine. Coming. Yeah, let's go back nine. We'll play on amateur. We'll keep it simple. Amateur. Yeah, oh yeah. man. We've got to keep it well, simple for I the show. I want to see some skill. Ricardi is playing. Oh uh -huh. yeah. So I yeah, am this playing. is oh, true. Th there we go. There it goes. <laughs> it already starts. It's normally me that's talking. Okay, Ricardi. So who are you going to take today? <sighs> You know what? I'm going for the power today, so I'm going to use Frank because accuracy suffers, but this guy can hit the ball a mile. So we've not, we've not seen Frank in the stream yet, have we? We've not seen him at all. What? He's got like a rocket shot, and he's like the distance player. So. Gotcha. He's all power, and uh, just because I'm using that power with low accuracy, I need to use. I think I'm going to go with Kirby. He's okay. my shot prediction. Sound good? Okay, all right. Who are you up with? So for me, um, we saw Kiara yesterday, so I'm going to go with the character we've not seen yet on the stream. I'm going to go with Dominique. Ooh. Um, Dominique's she looks one sassy. of she is sassy. <laughs> She's an entrepreneur. She plays golf, gives all the money to charity. She's really cool. Um, I'm going to play with Dominique. Uh, she has a super spin ability. She's more one of our more advanced golfers, so I'm going to take her, and I'll take always the gorgeous Astrid. So let's play. You ready to go? Let's go. All right. So we're going into the back nine. So we'll see hole ten first, right? This yep. is a quite a it's a nice hole. All right, so now that we're loading into Coyote Canyon here, what can you tell us about the course? What are you about to see here? Oh, yeah, sure. So um, Coyote Canyon is, uh, its theme is based on the deserts of the southwest and influenced by the uh, national parks of Utah. I have a bit of fly through here. You can see the sort of awesome structures and the rock formations. This one's a tricky one. It's like... Um, it's let's have a look at, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like through. a snaky dog leg. We'll have a yeah, look we'll at the top-down view. So there's Dominique. And it's Frank. Let's have a look at the top down view. So you can see Ooh. the pin's way over to the left. We've got this whole snake to the right and to the left, but knowing Ricari, he's probably going to thread the needle. Are you going to thread the needle today? I've got to try it. Wait, right? what's threading the needle? Uh, so, see, like, Ricari will show so you. So right? as I fly out here on my shot, you can see I've got a few different paths that I can go, depending on how much power. Frank is all power, so uh -huh. I can reach this other side of the fairway. The problem is I've got these three pillars that are right here directly in my way. So Good what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to sneak... Uh, Sneak my ball actually directly through these two big pillars. Okay, it's, this it's is gonna, really risky. Gonna, oh, so now that we're playing on amateur, you know, and it, now it's a risky <laughs> shot. At first, I was <laughs> there was bad form there. So, so I'm gonna add some uh, some draw to my shot here to kind of snake through the rock. It's gotta go round the rock and between oh, the rocks and add power, and it's a pretty tricky shot. And you know what? Just because I want to make sure I get there. I'm going to use Frank's special ability, which is a rocket shot. Uh -huh. Gives me a 10% boost. Use them on the drives. Like, that's what we really want to get the most power possible. Got it. So let's see. Oh, oh man. That pillar. That pillar is throwing me off. You know what we're going to do? I'm actually going to use my special ability here for the, uh, for the caddy, the shot prediction. Pressing on the B button just so I can make sure. We'll follow that trail. Yep, I'm going through there. So, so do you remember nice. the, the caddy ability shows Ricari where it's going to bounce and roll. It's a really good advantage there, so we can just make sure if he hits perfect power and accuracy. Right. Let's see if he can do it. Uh, and we also have to point out that once you use that to line up your shot, once you move, it's, oh, it's gone. gone. It's gone. It's gone. So if you readjust, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, I hit it right. But let's see. Oh, I should, I should yeah. still snake through there. The accuracy is going to be way, way off, but we'll see. I need that power. Get through. Ooh. Just made him a stay out of the bunker. So That's he all right. it That's through, all right. but he hit the That's bunker. Right. So. I can still recover from there. I'm only 86 yards away from the pin. Wasn't my best showing. I don't know. I don't know but who the, I have my money on right now. The nice thing is, he doesn't have some power. That's yeah, right. look. So look where you can see the little Frank face on the on the map. Look how far Ricari is, and I can only hit oh over God. here, so I can't even get anywhere near his power. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to play it short, right? So I've got this rock to deal with. So I'm gonna put some left spin on it, and I'm gonna bend around. 
this route, but I'm nowhere near where uh, Frank was going to be. Got to look for the wind as well, so I was going to take it's it. It's always that risk reward. I messed up so, on my accuracy, but I end up way further out. So do you guys find that certain golfers are better at different courses Ooh. then? Oh, yes. You know what? Now I definitely oh. feel bad. Not only did you hit a rock, but you ended up with a bunker too. Perfect. That's perfect. It's still his birthday, technically, so I'm going to let it go. <laughs> all, all of April. <laughs> so I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try and sort of make up some ground here. But yeah, back to your point. There are certain golfers that are better for certain uh -huh. scenarios. Like when we're doing this whole tournament, sometimes you want to go for the power, sometimes you need the accuracy, sometimes you want to add spin like he has there. Look at another rock. I'm oh, just my playing goodness. terrible today. Oh, I got a lucky bounce. Oh. At least it's on the Craig. green here. Craig, you're, you're, on the <laughs> you're still swinging. I know. I'm, I, you know, I'm in the Shows you how great Frank is, right? Frank I'm is good. I'm resting the beach. <laughs> you are resting the beach. I can do beach. this all day. It's all right. But yeah, so there's, a, there's also Rachel who's great for accuracy, lacks in power, but she makes up for a big time. So if I would have goofed that shot like I did with Frank, with right. Rako, the ball wouldn't have veered off as far. But so because yes. uh, Ricari took a risky shot and sort of paid off, um, I'm three shots to where he is in one. Sort of but I, I goofed up. I really messed up. I really messed up. I really, really messed up. I just wanted to show these off. These are oh, look at these clubs. The this? flaming wedges. So this is Frank. So uh, all of the characters have their own gear and their own personal but gear. These are the flaming wedges. And that's like a flame, 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 flame throw a club. That's awesome. So you can unlock uh, additional skins for your character. Yeah, and all of that. let's talk a little bit about the full game. So yeah. in the full game, there's a ton of content, right? Um, there's a 45 event career. There's four player local multiplayer. So with one pad, you can get your friends around, right. take turns. Makes for a good party that's game. It. I like that. Uh, Totally. Um, we also have uh, online rivals mode um, where you can download data from the cloud of your friends and play against your friend when they're offline. Mm -hmm. Cool thing I love about that mode is um, if you beat your friend, you get the rewards, but if you lose, your friend gets the rewards even though they're offline. So they come back on and it's like, while you're away, you pwned all your friends and got all this uh, cool rewards. So um, as you were talking about before, the gear, we have hundreds of pieces of gear. It's like a light RPG system. There's sets, set bonuses. Yeah, too, set, right? set bonuses, there's gear for certain characters, so there's a lot in this game. It's like, uh, also you can see there, like, uh, that number two, you can see the records of your friend are in the course. So, so you're always trying you're to be always competitive competing. and beat them. It really is a super, super social game. Sweet. I might have tried to use the spin there and it didn't Yeah, <laughs> it didn't quite I was going for that achievement. It's an achievement. I like, I like uh, to see I love achievement. achievement. Yep. Yeah, see, thank you. That's the same thing. Anytime <laughs> I get a chance. I'm oh, like, look, let Frank's got his uh, fire ant putter. So there's a lot of coolness to the gear, uh -huh. and there's, there's a lot to find and to sort of tweet your stats. I like Frank's shoes. His shoe game's on point. His shoe I game? Yeah. His yeah. <laughs> shoe game's on point. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for sharing all of this throughout the weekend. We've seen so much. I'm looking forward to the new course. If you guys are sitting at home right now, you can get on your Xbox One. I was going to say 360, <laughs> but no, Xbox One. And download it right now. It's what 19.99, and then time. you get this course for free. Yeah, yep. when so, it comes out. Yeah, yeah. So Coach yeah, so so Canyon will be out soon, and it is free. Free 18 old golf course for everybody, and there's a lot of content to the game. So thank you Ubisoft for having it at the show this week. We've really enjoyed it, and uh, the gamers have been loving the the game in the tournament. I think people have been really surprised. I'm yeah. like, I love this game. I'm like, I know. It's go, so it's so vibrant, it. and so cartoony, but yet it's so, still so much technical fun. and it's fun. fun. Yeah, right. Well, thank you guys so much. This is Power Star Golf signing off right now for our developer chat. And enjoy the rest of the show. We'll be right back with more content for you guys. See you guys. Have a good show. Bye.